for sold year compared to nearly 237 million cassette albums. The upstart CD configuration accounted for only 800,000 units. By 1988, though, cassette sales had nearly doubled, CDs had exploded, and the market for vinyl LPs had shrunk by nearly two-thirds. In response to this consumer defection, a number of major record stores have removed vinyl albums from their shelves altogether, and other retailers are expected to eventually follow suit. So, is vinyl dead? And if so, do consumers have any say in its demise? Let's ask some of the people who actually make records. There's something nice, you know, about getting that great big cover yeah. and holding it in your hands. and But that's probably just my age showing, you know, because I think, it, you know, if you're just used to getting a CD or something that big, maybe you don't miss it. CDs are kind of, they're just too high tech and they're not cool. Like records are, you look at the record, you flip right. it over. Like CDs got to open it up and get the thing out. And, but they're just dumb, they're too high tech. Some things sound good on vinyl. Some things that are really dear to you, you, yeah. you almost want to hear with all those crackles and pops anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be very strange when I have to hear pet sounds on a CD. I mean, I don't, I don't know what it's going to be like. And how does the man in the street feel about the projected death of vinyl? Well, CDs sound great, but I think that people should have their choice on whether they want CDs or records, you know? There are lots of people who put a lot of time into the artwork that goes on an LP that is lost on a little tiny CD, and I think you just, you're missing a lot when you get this little tiny CD. It's not the same. I'm sure, you can put CDs, you know, on smaller shelves and the whole thing, but that doesn't mean anything to me. Sound quality, all right, there's a certain, there's a certain, uh, qualitative difference, but again, that's not as important to me as the, the collectability of, of albums. Apparently, a lot of people still prefer vinyl, either for its warmer sound or its larger liner notes. But are they actually buying vinyl? Albums are down to about 10%, uh, and the number's still going down. It hasn't leveled off yet. Uh, the compact discs have the, uh, the dollar volume in the cassettes the unit volume. I mean, we sell more cassettes of anything. LPs are maybe 15% now. Cassettes, 20%, 25%, and the majority of the rest would be CDs. I mean, I'd say, I don't know, 60, 65%, 70% sometimes. The declining number of vinyl buyers are sending a bottom line message that record companies hear loud and clear. The Motown has uh, like canceled almost every album. You know, they, all they, their whole catalog is gone. All the albums are gone. Polygram just discontinued like about 300 albums, and Warner Brothers is going to follow. MCA has just uh, canceled 200 albums. Executives at several major companies, among them CBS, Warner Brothers, MCA, and Island, told MTV that vinyl loyalists shouldn't panic. Not yet, anyway. As long as there are millions of turntables out there, they say, their labels will continue producing vinyl versions of new albums along with the more popular cassettes and CDs. But what about older albums, the catalog classics so dear to the hearts of so many longtime record-buying fans? That will be dictated by sales. In other words, if we can uh, continue to press uh, long-playing discs uh, without losing money, we will continue to do that. Catalog is the key question in the death of vinyl story. Older albums that still sell will clearly find new homes on CD. But many great records that can't compete with the latest superstar sales figures may simply disappear. I think we're, we're going to see the, the loss of hundreds of, of artists, thousands of songs that uh, will never see the light of day on, on compact disc. In other words, they had their time on vinyl, and it, they were just good enough to maybe be on vinyl, and they're not going to make that switch over onto compact discs, and I, I think it's a real loss. Okay, getting back to music itself, let's pay a visit to the latest big noise out of Georgia, Decatur.